making it rain inside the Bryce Jordan Center. Bentley and Lucas stellar once again. Gets it up in time and gets it! The half court heave! I will play to the very last possession and give all she's got. Pick that up and sell some. I take some with me on. Paris, Monaco, Rome, no, not your bucket list of places to visit, but instead a 10-day eye-opening excursion for the Lady Lions this summer as they competed in different countries around the world. Nikki Green and Maggie Lucas not only scored a ton of points on this journey, but they and their teammates learned a lot about themselves and about cultures from around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed in Paris at Charleville Airport. It's 6, 5 a.m. local time. I was just excited to be there. I was just kind of waiting to experience everything. We have just stopped to get some pastries because we have been flying all night. But right now we are touring Paris and we're seeing the sights and we're having a good time. For me, being in the arts field, we just learned about um, the different architects and paintings. And for me, I wanted to just go in and just open-minded about everything. Breath of Loom, it's been awesome. There's so many different paintings, sculptures. Uh, I've got to see the Mona Lisa. I've never seen people so fanatic about a painting, but getting to see the Mona Lisa with your own eyes is like incredible. This was definitely my favorite place. It was beautiful. The water I've never seen. Clear water like that ever before. I live in New York, so the water there was clear compared to anything that I've ever seen. I learned that our team has a lot of patience for each other. We had a blast together, and that's one thing about my team that I love. Our chemistry is amazing. Harry, where are we going? We are heading to our arena. We're taking a lot out of these two games. I think just learning how to play with each other and, you know, it's not versus our practice guys. It's really, you know, versus a team, so it's excellent. For people who want to play overseas, this is a part of what you're going to do and what you're going to see and what you're going to experience. Here. Being able to walk through a country with so much history compared to our 200 years in the United States is pretty awesome. One of the stories in the Coliseum was when the king would come out and say whether to kill one of the fighters or not, and he would like put out his thumb. So if the so if his finger was up, then that would mean that he, you know the fighter needs to kill him. I'm really excited to go inside the Vatican. We're all excited to go and see St. Peter, see the Sixteenth Chapel. I took in a lot from the artist because he sat there for four years painting these figures and behind every figure there's a story. I wanted to just go out and just paint everywhere. Being there, I stopped and stared for however long they let us stay in there. I have loved Europe. It's been a fantastic time. I've seen Monaco, Bellagio, Paris, Rome, Florence. I've been everywhere. I've had a great time. I've seen the wonders of the world, and I'm only 20, so I have a lot to look forward to. I'll definitely come back and visit. Hands down, this is probably where I want to play if I play overseas. The successful three-game, 10-day schedule allowed some of the Lady Lions to think about their future, feeling confident that if they don't go to the WNBA, they now know they'd be able to adapt to playing overseas.